Did you already say pretend? <laughs> pretend, <laughs> pretend places. I only know three words that start with P. Please pretend pies push people past pretend places. Uh, please do that. Thank you. <laughs> I, I honestly. And why did we alternate? I was you gonna to say. It. Let's see how long we can go with just P's. And, and I'll just say a few. It doesn't have to alternate. It doesn't? Penelope praises Paul particularly, passionately, pretty. We may have found Link's gift. Past. <laughs> Maybe not. Pookie. Um. Penelope praises Paul pretty past Pookie. Peter protects panties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. Uh, Portantly. Polar. See, I'm, I just wanna add a word polar. Uh, at, I can't make an actual sentence. If you want me to just say words that start with a P, polarizing, I can't speak. Polarizing premonitions, particularly pacify people. People's passions. Pretensions. Hmm. Now you go. Poles, <laughs> particularly. I thought he said particularly. Portend proper potatoes. That doesn't. What I can't. What are verbs that start with p? Push. Put. Push Peter's pal. Packing. Pacquiao packs punches poosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna participate anymore. Please pass potatoes, Pam. Patiently. <laughs> um, what are we doing? You're gonna tell a story of your dad it's, I mean, attacking a female prisoner? <laughs> Why did he attack a female prisoner, dude? That's not what I said. You didn't tease it like that, did you? Dad was attacked by a female prisoner. Let us have it, man. My dad was a lawyer, um, and he's a law professor now. And I think he, he was either just starting out in being a lawyer, or he was like working at the courthouse for something, like helping a lawyer with something. All I know is that he was there, like at the desk, and there was people, there was women, at least a woman, in like a cell, or she was being transported or something. I, I really don't remember any details. All I know is that she like bum rushed him and like hit him with something, <laughs> knocked him down and ran away. Knocked him down and escaped? Yeah, I think she was caught very shortly after. And it may You're have been- your dad it, look it, awesome. It right may now. have been, I, I, I don't know the details. It may have been like a team of them. I like to think it was a team, but it could have just been one. He was bum rushed by a female prisoner and uh, Knocked down. That's it, huh? I'm gonna have to call him to get the actual details. Oh, really? <laughs> you want to call him right now? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, because just say it if you don't want to call him. I don't want to call him. Um, what about the story of uh, like the advice about the fight? Your dad would give advice. He was like, "If you ever find yourself about to be in a fist fight." Well, he didn't. He he never put it that way. He just said. He was just, this a true story? This is a true story. Oh. Yeah. He, he he's done it. It's not. Advice is just he tells a story. You can take it as advice if you want. I will. My dad was is a little guy. He was only five nine. He still is five nine. Um, and uh, he, some he was a, like a new kid at high school, and it was one of those Jimmy wants to fight. Well, my dad's name is Jimmy, so let's say Tom wants to fight you after school. And Jimmy, Tom, Tom wants to fight Jimmy. Tom was a big dude. You know, six foot four they football him, player. They called him Big Tom. Probably called him Big Tom. And with, uh, with fists like hammers. My dad was small, but my dad was smart. And so they, they get out there. Well, smarter than Tom. And there's a circle of people around, and Tom comes out there. He's like, All right, Jimmy, let's fight. And dad says, um, You know what? That's a nice sweater. You should probably take that off before we fight. I'm not making this up. My dad doesn't make stories up like this. 
and he started to take his sweater off, and when he got it above his head, my dad beat the crap out of him. <laughs> he pulled it over his face. And he got he it over started. his face, and dad just went <laughs> And just punched him until he fell down. The old nice sweater trick. And he was like, he never messed with me. And no one ever messed with him after that, because he was like a new kid. And that's why I tell my kids to carry around nice sweaters with them, because you if, can they're, not give it to somebody? if they're not wearing one, say, can, you might put on this nice sweater, and then you should probably take that off, and then, but that's like, I mean, if somebody's got, if somebody's got a shirt on, it's like, you know what, let's do this, let's do this bare chest. I mean, you, there's always somewhere you can go. And as let's soon as they get chest. that shirt off, boom, you go, I, you know what? That's a, it's like a story from Tom Sawyer. There's a, uh, I, I ran through a fight uh, yesterday. Ran right through a fight. What are you talking about? I was jogging around uh, the park near my house and. Okay, so you're already I, lying, you were jogging. No, I've been jogging quite a bit, and uh, good, good for you. And uh, and listening to Audible while jogging. I, that's, that's how I read now. I jog read by listening to books. It makes you be. You can go a lot further when you got something to listen to. Back in the day when I did, had nothing to listen to, or because you want to keep music. running. If, if yeah, it's yeah. Not done. If it's music, you like stop halfway through. If it's a book, it's like man. I guess I, I ran uh, seven miles this weekend because of the books that were I was listening to. Wow. But so I, I'm going around and I like see this group of dudes, mostly dudes, some women mixed in. And uh, it's one of those situations where there's like, one guy really wants to fight another guy, but the other guys are trying to keep him back. Was this in like a park setting? It or? was like the parking lot along the, the edge of the park. They had all been like hanging out at the park and then they were all like leaving and apparently somebody said something that somebody didn't like. And the dude was massive and there was like three guys kind of holding him back and he wouldn't let up. And then I went all the way around the track, which is two miles, however long that takes, and I come back. They're still fighting? And they're still trying to keep the guy from him. You're kidding. Like he hadn't cooled down at all, but he hadn't fought yet. What was the other guy doing? Were they holding both guys back? Or was no, the other, the other guy, guy small? was just like, I was like, what are you juggling. doing in this situation? He's juggling? He's just kind of like, I'm ready for anything, but you don't have to hold me back because I don't want to fight. Uh -huh. you know, he was in that position. Don't want to look like a chump, but I don't really want to He didn't want to leave. No. Wow, and you ran right in between them? The first time. You ran right in between them? The first well, time? So the first time, half of the group was on one side of the trail and the other side was in the parking lot. And there was a bunch of people like in the dirt trail that goes right past it. And I like ran through and like I realized what was happening and I was like, whoa, there's a guy, like they, th he, they threw him up against the car, like right when it went by and the car would make like this doom sound. And, uh, and then when I read, ran back around, I was like, I'm gonna go through the parking lot. So I like ran around him. So I didn't see the details at that second time. Cause you could have just gotten in a, a little punch and kept going. I kind of thought like, what if I get a residual punch? The first time. You know, I'm not gonna be good. I, I don't think I could take a punch very well. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. You got, I mean, did he have a shirt on? He still did have a shirt on. Thank you, I could have told him. Hey, you should take, take that shirt off. It's nice. I don't think. I, I think I would hurt myself punching someone with their shirt over their head. I would go in there like, and something. I you know I'd miss. I'd hit shirt all shirt. I'd I would I'd shirt strangle them. Is what I'd do. I'd grab that shirt and I'd be like. Let's see how that goes over. <laughs> <laughs>